वेलकम टू माय चैनल आर एल डी एकेडमी दिस इज लेक्चर नंबर फाइव ऑन ऑपरेशन एम्पलीफायर इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस हाउ लैंड करेंट पम्प और हाउ लैंड करेंट सोर्स तो इन दिस हाउ लैंड करेंट पम्प दिस सर्किट is shown here the main objective of this circuit is to provide a constant current il to any load here from a dc source v1 that means we can generate one current source which will supply a constant current to any load so this is voltage to current source converter now this circuit is invented by mit's professor bradford howland in 1960 thus the name is howland current pump now here we'll try to prove that this current il is equals to v1 upon r1 and the condition is that the ratio between r4 and r3 and r2 and r1 if it is same then we will get a constant current il which is independent of the load right so that we will try to prove here i'll provide you two methods the first method will consider so here we will consider the load potential this load potential is vl and this output voltage is v0 so this source is v1 is in r1 this is r2 this is r3 r4 here it is grounded and here it is output voltage v0 so you see there is a negative feedback and this is the r3 grounded so as there is a negative feedback and we are considering idl of m then there is no current flow here no current flow here okay and we will consider here this circuit first right so this end this load potential is vl so you see this one so this is your vl and this output potential is v0 so this is your circuit so this circuit is non inverting amplifier circuit so we know that gain is 1 plus rf upon r1 so in this case it is 1 plus r4 upon r3 thus the output voltage v0 is 1 plus r4 upon r3 this is the gain vector multiplied by non inverting voltage that is your vl so this v not is depending on this load potential vl which is here so this this is given by this value right now we will try to use so this is your v not equals to 1 plus r4 by r3 times vl now we'll consider this is the node a and there we'll try to find out or uh, try, try to use kcl at this node so apply kcl at node a and here you'll consider this thing there's no current entering the op amp so this branch there is no current so this branch current is il and this side some current is coming and from here also current can come so here total outgoing current to the load should be equals to incoming current here that is v1 minus vl upon r1 and this incoming current is v0 minus vl upon r2 so this il is simply this outgoing current equal to the term 1 v1 minus vl upon r1 and second one is v not minus vl upon r2 
now we can simplify this one with this b not given here we can replace b not here okay so the term will be b1 upon r1 minus vl upon r1 and here we have replaced b0 by this one so if you break this part then you will see it is vl plus r4 upon r3 times vl minus vl so that vl and vl will cancel so you will get here r4 upon r3 times vl only okay so this is the term three terms you are getting now we can combine these two together so if you combine what you will get b1 upon r1 plus this term is r4 upon r2 times r3 minus 1 upon r1 times vl so this is the expression for the current il now our objective is to find the constant current okay so you want that il should be independent of load resistance so if it is independent of load resistance obviously it should be independent of load potential vl right that means it is independent of this vl term now here you will see this il is having two component one component is proportional to v1 another one is proportional to vl so we we have to make this part zero okay so this part we want to make it zero then il will be independent of vl thus we can say that from this one this il will be simply equals to this term b1 upon r1 only second term will vanish with the condition that this will be equal to zero okay so r4 upon r2 times r3 minus 1 upon r1 that is equals to zero so if you simplify it you will get r4 upon r3 equals to r2 upon r1 okay so if this condition is satisfied then you will get a constant current il for any load okay and you see this condition it is very similar to wheatstone bridge and it is called balanced condition of the bridge circuit so similar to wheatstone bridge concept under balanced condition you will find a constant current il through the load and that current value will be simply this voltage v1 upon this resistance r1 right so this is the method 1 and we will consider second method in the next class and if you like this video you can subscribe my channel and to subscribe my channel you should press the subscription button and then you should press the bell button so that you will get immediate notification of my future videos thanks for watching i hope you are going to subscribe my channel if you have not yet done thank you